I'm Dr. Jim Hawk. I'm a PhD animal behaviorist, but in my spare time, I also love the fish, especially in the salt waters of the Florida Keys. Today is a stormy day. It's a rainy day. It's a windy day. We can't be out fishing. And that gets any kind of fisherman thinking about their tackle box. And specifically today, I got thinking about lures. For those of you who don't do a lot of fishing, lures are artificial bait. To make the whole game a little more sporting, what some people try to do is to recreate the bait fish that we use to attract the fish that we're, sh we're fishing for, uh, artificial. And so there are really two categories of lures, of artificial or simulated baits. The first of these are designed to look very much like the prey item that, that the fish is hunting for. And so here's an example of an artificial lure that uh, clearly is designed to look as much like the bait fish, the prey item, uh, as possible. And another example, we can do a lot of wonderful things these days uh, with rubbers and flexible and color and pigments. And this is clearly designed to look as much like a shrimp, uh, a prey item for a lot of fish, saltwater fish, as possible. So those are easy to understand. But growing up down here in the Keys, I always had more trouble understanding the idea of these very abstract lures. And so we have a whole group of lures that don't look anything like a fish or a shrimp or a crab. And again, I have some examples. So for instance, here's a bucktail jig, uh, very bulbous head, bright yellow, usually has some kind of feathers or hair back here. Uh, doesn't really look anything like any kind of fish that I've ever seen. Uh, there are ones that are just a simple piece of metal, a flashy silver piece of metal. Again, no real effort to make it look like any specific kind of prey item. And finally, a nice dramatic example, barracuda lure, uh, is simply a long skinny piece of rubber tube. And, and that's it. No gills, no eyes, uh, no tail, no fins, nothing to really make it look like a fish. It's long, it's slender, it's thin, and that's about it. Um, and so, how do these work? They don't look like anything that's out there that the fish we want might be eating. And that's when I discovered as an animal behaviorist the science behind fishing lures. Fishing lures make use, and particularly these abstract ones, make use of a concept called a fixed action pattern. A fixed action pattern is a very stereotyped, reflexive, automatic, genetic, built-in behavioral reaction of an animal. And there are many examples of these in the ways that birds respond to the color of their territorial opponents, uh, how babies respond to, the, to their faces on their parents. Uh, many, many examples of these have been documented in animal behavior. But we make use of these fixed action patterns in lures because every fixed action pattern has a sign stimulus or a releaser. And a sign stimulus is a color or a pattern or a shape or a movement, usually a visual signal that releases, automatically, fixedly releases that fixed action pattern. So what we're doing in these lures is we're reproducing, finding, discovering by trial and error, these sign stimuli, these releasers that trigger feeding behavior in fish. And so feeding behavior, attack behavior in fish is a fixed action pattern and a color or a shape or a movement uh, is the releaser, is the uh, sign stimulus. And so what we're trying to do is to basically reproduce something that has been an evolutionary adaptation in these fish that's made the fish very successful. They don't need to see that it's a, a bait item. They need to see a certain shape or a certain color um, or a certain movement and they attack it automatically. And if we can reproduce that sign stimulus in our lures, then we can be successful in fishing. And so this is a neat combination of a very uh, abstract concept in animal behavior called a fixed action pattern, something we see in many, many animals, and, and how we've applied it as humans and made use of it inadvertently, not really knowing what it was, but really made use of it in our, in our lures. So I hope you enjoyed watching this, enjoyed this little insight uh, into animal behavior and especially how we apply animal behavior to our everyday world. Thanks for watching.